What's up, slappers? Today, we're going on Fiverr. What? I'm just kidding. You aren't subscribed to Davey yet? I can't really do David's accent. But in today's video, we're going to actually like learn how to edit him, how to do that slap intro, how to use some sad effects. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and let's get started and let's learn how to edit like Davey 504 right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, I have a brief overview of what Davey504 uses in his videos. Well, mainly this is for his intro, but he uses like these effects like during the entire video as well. So first of all, we have the echo or the reverb effect on your voice. We have quite some zooms. We have that slap sound effect. We have a sad blue rain overlay. We have obviously like the blue color grading overlay that he uses as well. The angel wow sound effect, the angry red color grade. For example, like when you're not subscribed yet, we have the sudden impact sound effect. You have the angel zoom overlay, as you can see, like this white overlay. And obviously we have some like some trash metal music, for example, when he's saying something, for example, like if you're not subscribed yet. So quite a lot of things going on, but we're going to cover them real slow in this video. So let's get started into Vegas. All right, guys. So this is basically the intro without any effects, how I filmed it. What's up, slappers? Today, we're going on Fiverr. What? I'm just kidding. You aren't subscribed to Davey yet? I can't really do David's accent. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the very first zoom effect, which is on this clip. What's up, slappers? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the event pan crop icon. We're gonna click on there. And then we're going to just move up a couple of keyframes and we're gonna zoom in quite a bit. So let's see what that looks like. What's up, slappers? Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to basically follow our hand. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to move a little more in our timeline here when we're keyframing. So let's just move up to the point where I'm going to raise my hand, which is right here. So then we're going to create another keyframe and then we're going to click a few keyframes further. Now we're going to zoom in all the way onto our hand right here. And now what we need to do is just move our marker and just make our, that follow along. Okay, so this is what it looks like. What's up, slappers? What's up, slappers? Okay, so then we can cut it off right there. So what we need to do now is just insert that slap sound effect. It's literally the first effect that pops up on the YouTube if you type in the search bar slap. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so now we just need to time it. Slappers. Today, we go. Today, we Today, we're going on five. All right, that looks really nice. So we're gonna move on to the next effect, which is basically adding a lot of echo and reverb to our voice when we say what? What? And also zoom in. So we're gonna just cut it right here. Go to the event pan crop icon again. We're gonna place a keyframe at the very end and we're gonna zoom in all the way onto her face like this. What? What? Okay, so now what we need to do is go to the effects button right here, which is going to open up the event effects of the audio. Now we're in this list, we're going to pick reverb and we click on add, click on OK. So now this menu is popping up. So in the preset manager, we're going to pick, for example, like right hall. Let's see what that sounds like. What? What? But the echo is not really too like loud. So we're going to also go to the reverberation mode and we're going to pick a couple of these. We're going to just mess and see which one sounds the best. What? 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 Going on five. What? Okay, so now we need to insert the sudden suspend sound effects and we're gonna also time that one. Five what? That looks really good. Five what? Okay, that looks nice. So now we're gonna move on to the next effect. I'm just keyed. I'm just keyed. So now what we need to do is when I'm saying I'm just kidding, I'm like this, I'm gonna, tr I'm trying this Italian accent. What we need to do is we need to create this angry effect. So we're gonna go to the video effects tab and we're gonna go all the way to the color corrector and we're going to pick the red midtones one and we're gonna drag it onto our clip. And then we're gonna also just drag it this one a little bit more to the red like that. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm just kidding. 
But what we need to also do is we need, we need to create this like shake effect. Like it's like really shaky. There's two ways to do that. You can go to the event pan crop and you can actually like start making keyframes. And you can also just like move this one around really, really fast. This is going to take a little while, especially because these keyframes are so close to each other. But if you have the Sapphire plugin, you can actually just use S underscore shake. If you want to do it the manual way, you can just create a couple of keyframes, then hold left control and you can select them all and you can just press for example copy then you can just press right here and you can press Control v that's gonna paste them so let's just fill this entire timeline with these shaking keyframes like that so this is what it looks like if you do it manually i'm just keyed Looks really, really cool. But what we also need to do is we need to insert some trash metal music. Now, a couple of seconds is not really that of a big deal. If I select this clip, you only need like a little over one second. So that's not really an issue. You can go to youtube.com and just find some trash metal on the audio library or anything like that. How you can insert that. So let's move on to the next effect. So this is going to create a sad effect. So right now on this clip, we need to go also go to the color grading tab under the video effects menu. And we're going to pick the blue midtones instead of the red one and we're gonna also make it blue just a little more and then we also need this rain overlay now i'm gonna leave every asset in the description down below in a zip file from the sound effects to the overlays everything you see in this intro that is used will be linked in the description down below that you can download for free so let's just go ahead and drag in that green screen of the rain okay so this is the green screen overlay of the rain this is what it looks like so now what we need to do is we need to actually remove the green. So we're going to go to the video effects tab and we're going to pick the chroma key right here. Then we're going to drag on the default onto the clip and we're going to click on this blue icon and then we're going to pick this one and then we're going to pick a nice green part. And now, as you can see, this is looking really, really realistic. If you want to make it a little more realistic, create a separate video track for the green one and you want to put that one to screen, as you can see like that. So this is what the effect looks like like you aren't subscribed to Davey yet and then I'm going to show you like footage of me subscribing to Davey and that's where the anime wow sound effect comes in and also that white zoom so I'm gonna also drag that in okay so this is the footage of me subscribing to Davey as you can see so right when we hit subscribe, when it turns red, we're going to insert this angel wow sound effect. I'm going to also put that into my project. Oh, I apologize, guys. It's called the anime wow sound effect. So let's time it. That looks really, really cool. So now we also need to overlay these white stripes that are actually like, I'm just gonna show you guys. It's really hard to find a good name for it, but it's called Anime Zoom. And it works exactly the same, guys. You just go to the chroma key, and then you wanna drag the default onto it. And you wanna also just select the green, and you can also check it, and then there we go. There we have the nice white lines, as you can see, popping up. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> So then we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna move on to the last effect, which is gonna zoom, but it's gonna like really stretch the screen. So we're gonna go to the event pan crop. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on the very last keyframe. Then we're gonna zoom in, but we're gonna uncheck those two icons, lock aspect ratio and the size about center. We're gonna uncheck these so we can actually like make it like really thin. So then we're gonna just position this one onto her face. So let's see what that looks like. I can't really do David's accent. So that's how to do it, guys. This is how to edit in the style of Davy 4. It is that simple. And like I've mentioned, everything that you need to know is listed in the description, guys, from the slap sound effects, the rain overlays, like the, the angel wow sound effect, like the sudden impact sound effect, everything else is listed down below. If this video went by too fast, guys, make sure to pause and rewind it. Check out Davy 504's channel. And this is how to edit in the style of Davy 504. So guys, that is it. That is not really like learn how to edit like Davey, more in a style, you know, like, you know, adding these sad effects, these sound effects, reverb, that slap effect. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and also subscribe to Davey 504's channel. Even if you're not a bass player, his videos are really fun to watch. That's gonna be it, guys. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you.